Welcome back to Dairy Air Farms for another information session with me, Farmer Jay. Today, I'm going to share with you what I know about the birds and the bees. Specifically, chickens and bees. Both are great ways to make money in the game, and they are fairly simple to understand. If you look closely, you can see the bees flying in and out of the hive. Now, this is a custom hive that I have downloaded off ModHub and installed. Over here, we have the traditional beehive that came with the game. This is the largest beehive you can get. standard in the game and that's the honey spawning point okay bees are found under your production menu which is at the bottom of the purchase screen you go to construction you go to animals and you go to bees the smallest beehive is $1,100 and then they slowly work their way up to the largest beehive. Now we don't want to place that. Which is this one here for $1,900. This is the custom one I installed for $20,000. The, at the end here, you can see Beehive Honey Pallet Location. You can place this anywhere on the map. It doesn't have to be within range of a beehive. In fact, if you take a look at my map overview, you will see I have several beehives placed around the map near fields where I want the bees to pollinate depending on what I end up planting in them. Bees will pollinate potatoes, canola, and Have to double check the help menu there. So, <clears throat> as we said, canola, sunflower, and potato fields. So your flowering plants. They, it, Giants doesn't tell you the exact yield increase you get, but there is a yield increase from having bees near those particular fields. Okay, so we covered the different types of beehives. They all have a radius of 150 meters in terms of pollination. The other thing that Giants doesn't tell you is how much honey a bee will produce. Let's look at the price of honey. Honey is quite a valuable product if you can get enough of it. Um, the cereal factory is currently paying uh, $3,119. The fast food restaurant is $3,159 per thousand liters. And those are your best spots. The other thing you need honey for is you need honey for cereal. Now I've had this go game going for a little bit of time and it doesn't seem we generate that much honey. I purchased the cereal factory a little while ago 
and I've still only got 1307 liters of honey in it. That's because A, I didn't have enough beehives, and B, I had the smaller beehives. Be what it may be. Um, I had to look in the game XML files to find out how much honey is produced. So according to the game XML file, the basic, the smallest beehive produces five liters of honey per day, and the largest beehive produces, that's the one in front of us, 495 liters of honey per day. So you need quite a few beehives to generate a steady amount of honey. Especially if you want to supply something like the cereal factory. The nice thing about bees is, apart from their initial cost, they are essentially free money makers. They don't require any inputs. They don't require any type of food. They find their own. They don't require water. They find their own. They're self-sufficient. Now, having played through a season or two, I have noticed that when the weather gets cold in December, January, and sometimes in February and March, the bees will disappear just like they do in real life. So in those months, you may not see any honey production, depending on the temperature. If you get a nice warm day in February or March, then I've noticed honey will start to appear again and then poof, especially at night when it gets cold, honey production stops. So bees work pretty much like they do in real life. They disappear or they hibernate in the colder months and live off their food supplies. And then they get back to work when the weather warms up. So that's bees in a nutshell. Or in a honey hive. And since this is post patch 1.2 information, I should mention if you haven't already discovered it, that I believe the pallet of honey is now 400 liters, whereas it used to be 200 liters or so. And the second thing. I'm curious about is with productions they changed all the other production chains to be on a monthly basis but the XML file or the game file that talks about bees or beehives in particular still refers to it as per day so if you notice your honey's not as peering as quickly as you think it is when you're playing three or four day months, that's because it is indeed following the monthly cycle that the rest of the factories are following and not the one day that's been left in the XML file. I believe there is another file called Animal Husbandry XML, which I'm looking for and haven't found yet, which is the main file that tells the game how much of each product a certain animal produces. It talks about how much manure cows will produce, how much milk cows will produce, how many eggs per day chickens will produce, um, and it contains all that information. So, 
that's something to bear in mind. Well, let's run the game on an hour, actually, and let's see. At one o'clock, we should see... another batch of honey being produced. Yep, there we go. So I'm not going to do the math, but it jumped up to 397 liters. And let's run it one more hour and we will see what the maximum pallet size is when it's full. There we go. We now have a full pallet of honey, which is, yeah, indeed 400 liters. So we'll leave that there for now. Now that we have the bees out of the way, let's take a look at chickens. I set up two chicken coops so that I could compare them. And this again was pre-patch 1.2. And I ran them on for, I believe, two months. And I purchased... Let's have a look here at the chickens. Chicken coop one and chicken coop two. I purchased 120 chickens in each coop. The first coop, I just purchased 120 chickens. No roosters. In the second coop, I purchased... 120 chickens plus two roosters to see if that would boost productivity. Well, two months later, right before the patch came out, my chickens doubled. And as you can see, we now have another 120 chickens in the coop. which is zero months old versus eight months old for the other chickens. As you can see, their reproduction cycle has just started all over again. So every two months, one chicken will hatch one more chicken. You don't need a rooster. Roosters just take up space and eat food. Now, Patch 1.2 was updated, and look at, uh, poor chicken with his butt sticking through the wall. Um, if we go to the animal dialogue screen, come here, come here. Why am I not getting it? There, I was too far, too close. <coughs> Patch 1.2 updated the information on chickens. So the basic chicken that you purchase is a newly hatched chick within its first month of age. Chickens reach puberty at six months. And as I found out by doing my experiments, have a gestation period or a reproduction period of two months. So... Had I waited till post-patch 1.2, I could have just looked at this information and found out how quickly chickens will reproduce. Now, I have 240 of 360 chickens. Just like in other farming simulator games, you buy an animal either as a chick well chicks are new to this game but you buy let's say a full grown chicken for $50 it's only worth $25 when and if you decide to go and sell it back that's a full grown chicken now 
assuming you sell your chickens or part of your chickens, um, for example, with this pen, if I was to sell 60 to 80 chickens every two months, they're free because they're reproduced chickens, so they would in fact make money. The chickens don't die. They'll just keep reproducing the adults. And you can raise the chicks up till they are worth $25 and then sell them. So that's a money maker. There are two types of chicken enclosures in this game. You find them the same way as you do the bees under the construction menu. And you want to go to animals and chickens. Now this is where it gets important. There's a small pasture, they call it. Um, I think that's the wrong term, but they just use pasture as a general term. And then there is a full-fledged chicken coop, which I have two of. If you highlight the chicken coop in the menu, it will tell you what your chickens eat. So they eat wheat, barley, and sorghum. This is the same for all animals. Highlight the, the pen. Sheep, for example, will eat either hay or grass. Chickens don't go through a lot of feed. But it is worth topping them up every once in a while. And I'm not sure how much grain we have in the grain silo. But we will check that and I will quickly show you how to fill up. your chicken coop with feed. It's really quite simple. Assuming you have grain stored in your silo, and I think we have wheat. Yep, we have wheat. I'm gonna put in 10,000 liters or roughly 10,000 liters of wheat. And then you just simply pull up to the silo. And you can see the unloading icon. And we just unload our wheat. Chickens are unique in the fact that it doesn't matter what you put in there. You can put in a mixture of oats, sorry, not oats, I was going to say oats, wheat, barley grow, um, but you can put in a mixture of wheat, barley, and sorghum, whatever you have on hand. There we go, see, I told you they wouldn't take very much. Certain other animals and we'll get to that later, require different types of feed and they will eat one over the other. Chickens, no, they'll just eat whatever you have on hand. So if you have an excess of wheat, excess of wheat, feed them the wheat. We'll leave this under the hopper because I'm sure I'm going to need to uh, feed the chickens again soon. And we'll put the tractor away. So essentially, that is the birds and the bees explained in Farming Simulator 22.
I haven't found out how many chickens will lay an egg per day. But they are definitely a money maker. And you will end up with a couple of full pallets in no time. And I parked too close. Uh, well, now I'm stuck. <clears throat> 70 pieces. Seventy pieces. Um, I, well, let's run the game on an hour or two. We'll run it on till well, I just added. We'll see if it's on an hourly basis that it updates or if it's on a daily basis. So 78. eighty-eight, hundred and five. So it somewhat updates on a, an hourly basis, but that's definitely not one egg per chick per hour. Um, so it's not like um, bees where the game tells them to generate a certain amount per hour. I'm just going to move this out of the way so that the next pallet of honey can spawn without causing any issues. Okay. Like I said, that's the birds and the bees explained. That's all you need to take care of your money makers. If you have any questions about the birds and the bees, please feel free to leave me a comment. And if you found this video useful, go ahead and like it. Because it rates on YouTube's algorithm and other people can find the video more easily and learn from it as well. Thank you for watching and take care.